good out the force. Welcome back to the Watch It with McQueen channel, man. Mm. Yes, sir, we are back, man. As you guys can see, Last King Guy McQueen is in town and is on duty for about four or five days, or three or four days. You know, I give three or four. Now, I must admit, this isn't the best haircut I've got. Do you know? This isn't the best haircut I've got, but it works. Do you know? It works. Um, it's better than, like, the dustiness I was looking like the other day. So I'll, I'll take it for right now. But regardless, Light Skin Guy McQueen is still on duty. We have King Sid broke up with his girlfriend. Now, before I start this video, y'all, I need you guys to pay very, very close attention because I'm doing a very, very lit giveaway for you guys, man. Okay? What I'm about to do is I'm about to give away a MacBook Air, man, a brand new MacBook Air, man. Let me go ahead and show you guys on Google, you know what I'm saying? Surfing the web with Megan McQueen, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, I don't know why I just typed in, uh, you know, with the woo-woo uh, when Google was already right there. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving away a brand spanking new MacBook Air, nigga, 2020, okay? A brand spanking new MacBook Air 2020, man, okay? Hold on, where is, where is this shit at? Where is the Mac website? Okay, Apple website, okay. Brand new MacBook Air, man. Beautiful, pristine. Do you know what I'm saying? Beautiful, 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 nice laptop, man. You know what I'm saying? Giving that away. Brand new. Like, just look at it. It's beautiful, right? And I'm also giving away some brand new AirPods to go along with that, okay? Now, how do you join this giveaway? Okay, the giveaway will be going on for a week and a half, maybe two weeks, okay? How do you join the giveaway? You go to the link in the description, and you click on the Instagram link, and you go to my Instagram, and you click follow, and you like all of my posts, like every single one of my posts, okay? Number one is follow. Number two is like all of my posts. Number three is send me proof in my Instagram DMs that you did follow me, okay? Send me proof. And also, keep in mind, my manager is the one who is running this giveaway. He's the one who's in charge. So that includes him monitoring who is liking my post and who is following me. He will be seeing if you do follow me, you have to be also the person that is liking all of my posts. And he is checking. These last two giveaways, we've been monitoring. That's why we've been choosing good winners because we see that they're doing everything that the giveaway requires, okay? So, brand spanking new beautiful MacBook Air, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of you guys want to be YouTubers, okay? This is great for you guys to use, man. Great great tool to get you guys started and some AirPods, man. Brand spanking new, okay? Queen is going to help you guys back because, you know, I've been doing so well because of you guys and we've been going crazy on this channel, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, you know, I might as well just give away, man. It's not a big deal for me to give away, give back to you guys, you know? So, brand new MacBook Air, brand new AirPods, all you got to do, link in the description, go to my Instagram, follow me, like all of my posts, okay? Send me a DM showing proof that you follow me. And my manager will be monitoring if you've liked all my posts, okay? And there is no following to unfollow. No following to unfollow. My, ma my manager is monitoring. Keep in mind, y'all, so you will be disqualified if you bullshit, okay? So... You guys see what is going on with this giveaway? Let's go back to the video, man. You know what I'm saying? We are back. King said broke up with his girlfriend, man. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. You know, there's a lot of other things. We got a couple other videos to react to, man. You know what I'm saying? I guess some things happened after this. There was also some bull. But, uh, you know, for right now, we're just going to watch this because I didn't watch this, you know. So let's see what this thought had to say. It sucks that I had to tell, like, my personal business, but... I feel like this is what has to be done at this point. I know everyone sees what's going on in social media and I just have to tell my side. So basically earlier today, my mom and I got into it um, over Jason, which is something that we always do. You know, she, she sees stuff that I go through in my relationship and personally stuff that her and Jason have, like they have some issues and stuff. And she honestly, she hasn't been a fan of Jason for a while. And I fight for it because I love Jason. So. I'm sorry. I'm just giving me hard. I even fight with my mom, my own mom. 
over Jason. I always choose Jason. I always play him first. So earlier today we got into it and you know normally whenever we get into it I saw what? niggas is laughing in the comments like that, that's dead ass bro dead ass bro the fuck is you crying for girl you got clapped out the fuck are you crying for bro girls literally love to play the victim man you got cleaned out nigga got your shit cleaned the fuck out you know, by a big old Hulk-sized NFL player, nigga, thrashing your shit. Your shit is sore as we speak, nigga. <laughs> that tushy is sore as hell right now, nigga. Probably got bite marks under that robe. All types of shit. That nigga was going dumb. Tearing that ass up. And you sitting here crying. Tell my my mom wasn't a fan. Nobody cares. You were clearly a fan of whatever Mandingo you got piped by. You know? Oh, God. Girls love to play the victim. When I go to Jason's house. But Them Jason fake -ass tears. and I were already in a fight. And we were on a break. And we needed space. And my best friend, who I probably go to next, you know, I stopped talking to all of my friends, and I only spend my time with Jason. I'm sorry, it's so hard. I'm so embarrassed, but bro, oh, them fake ass tears. Okay, so my best friends are not in Atlanta right now, so I felt like the only thing I could do was get my <laughs> face the face is laughing. And obviously, I don't want people knowing my business or anything, so I didn't want to tell anybody else. I got a hotel room. Okay, I've been here all day. Literally, I just wanted to go. All of my stuff is here. It's literally just me. And unfortunately, since the beginning, <laughs> since the beginning of my relationship with Jason, I can't even look at the. Oh my God. Since the beginning of my relationship with Jason, everyone has been trying so hard to break us up. So hard. <laughs> and I guess somebody sent Jason a picture of my car outside and said, Jason, your girl's here with another guy. Oh, yes, it was my car. Yes, it was my car. Oh, I am here, yeah, but I'm most definitely alone. <laughs> and this has been happening since I've met Jason. People send him stuff all the time. But the only difference between those times and this time is that I'm always with him. And we're always on good terms. Oh, so my God, bro. about it. And I'm not hearing one word just be saying, bro. I'm not hearing one word she talking about, bro. All I hear is just... That's all I hear, nigga. Save the tears for the streets, baby. Save the tears for the streets. She'll be going back to the streets where she goes. She'll be sucking and fucking on the streets where she goes. She'll be sucking on the fucking on the streets. She'll be sucking and fucking on the streets. She'll be sucking and fucking on the streets where she goes. Streets are that way, baby. No, or I could tell him, whatever, or he's with me, so he knows that's not the case. But this time, we were on a break, so, I mean, I guess it was easy for him to believe. Jason actually even came to the hotel and found out that I made the reservation. He texted my mom, he texted my best friend, oh, um, that's crazy, you even made a reservation under your name to be with another guy. No, Jason, obviously the reservation's under my name so that I'm here by myself. Like, oh my God, okay. Since the beginning of my relationship with Jason, Jason has a lot of insecurities that have been affecting our relationship that comes, I mean, comes from his past relationship. He's really, really, really insecure very insecure and he portrays a lot of that onto me and it's been really 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 fucking hard <laughs> really fucking hard to deal with 
but I, I love Jason and we work so hard and we have so many goals so dude these are the fakest fucking tears I've ever seen in my life like I said y'all females are award winning actresses nigga didn't I say this Females are Oscar Award winning Mwah! masterpiece actresses. Everybody give it up for Brie. Let me get a standing ovation. Wow, she deserves this award, man. She deserves it. You know what? Let me let me present you with your trophy. Blackheads girl. Nigga, here. Here you go. Yes, I used to play hockey. I'm also good with that too, nigga. Man, oh man, oh man. She'll be sucking and fucking on the streets where she goes. It's just so embarrassing that Jason has to run to the internet after every problem and we can't act like adults and he can't be level-headed and we can't communicate properly. He loves to run to the fucking internet. This literally, this problem, okay, I didn't even explain the story fully. When Jason came, Dude, these are the, I was in oh the shower my, ah. and he was blowing up my phone and even the hotel phone was ringing and I was so confused. I finished my shower, I got out. And I didn't, I did not even begin to explain this. <laughs> Bro, what the I fuck? I did not even begin to explain this. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Oh my God, <laughs> dog. Jason said is she dead ass right now? Spoke about, which is so unforgivable. <laughs> And I still love him, and unfortunately, if we decide to get back together, I would take it back. But a lot of the stuff that he said is so unforgivable. It's so Jason, unforgivable. <laughs> but oh my god, guys, like, I cannot believe that he would really say that. Like, no, for real. So, anyways. <laughs> But no, for real, like, honestly, the dick that, the, uh, you know, the guy gave me was so good. Like, I honestly forgot about Jason. Do you know? I really, really did. You know? That's going on another Megan McQueen gay compilation. It is really, really, really disrespectful. This isn't the first time. I know you guys saw my tweets. I'm always... It's like Jason subtweets me, and I know I shouldn't do it back because everyone's always telling me to be the older person and the more mature person. But recently, I've been subtweeting him back, and I just feel like most of the stuff that he said today, I will never be able to forgive him. And the worst part is that he's wrong about the whole situation. As soon as I got out the shower, I called him back. I said, Jason, what are you talking about? Jason, you're so embarrassing. Why is my mom blowing on my phone? Why is my best friend blowing on my phone? I was in the shower. I said, are you downstairs? You can come upstairs right now. I'm literally alone. I have nothing to hide. Literally, nothing to hide. I've been here by myself. I'm so embarrassed, guys. I'm literally so embarrassed to come on here. I hate that I have to tell my personal business, but of course Jason blocked me. There's no way I can speak to him. It's not even about Jason. Dude, literally. <clears throat> At this point, Blackhead is getting really corny. At this point, Blackhead, you, bro, you corny, bro. Like, you clearly are just love the internet. I can't stand niggas that just love to just run straight to the internet, nigga. After every situation, just run straight to the internet, nigga. Like, bro, what the f Like, why would you want your personal business? Like, why would you want... Like, I get it, you know what I'm saying? Even me, I put, you know... Nigga, we, like, bro, 
Aquafools. We've had our relationships, nigga. I've shared them with y'all. Y'all close to me. That's why. But there's a lot of things that have happened, conversations. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Goddamn arguments. Goddamn, you know, certain controversial things that only a relationship, the two people in the relationship should go through, nigga. And nobody else, okay? And I have not broadcasted that. There's so many things, you know. You keep in mind, y'all only get 10 to 15 minutes of my day when it comes to videos. And I'm not even posting every day like I used to on the main channel, nigga. The, the daily uploads are on this channel now. The bangers are on the main, you know. So it's like definitely now you only getting a certain amount of my day compared to the 24 hours that I spend every single day, Monday through Friday, not Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, do you know what I'm saying? Every single week, nigga, do you know? And you guys are not seeing any of that. You only seeing what is on the screen. And even in that 10 to 15 minutes, you're not even getting the whole day. Do you know? That's why it's really annoying when a lot of people try to act like they know you. You don't know these niggas. You don't know me. You know, the Aqua Force knows a, a, a good amount of me, but you don't know me. You don't. You know what I'm saying? So, it's really crazy that this nigga really is just like, it's so funny, bro. Like, y'all be sending me these shade room posts. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be, that's how I be finding out. Be, McQueen reacted to this, you know? Y'all be sending me that shit. And I'm just like, this nigga still on. I'm like, damn, bro, he on here again. Like, this nigga just don't stop till you just love the internet, huh, bro? <laughs> you just love the internet. That's one thing she write about. This nigga love running to the internet. Like, bro, come on, man, blockhead, get it together, my nigga. That head is is too much for you. It's too much. It's a lot. You you could say that the whole weight of the world is on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! Get it together, Tiki head. This is about literally. It's been so fucking hard. It's been so fucking hard. Everyone has been staying up in the streets. Everyone has been in his ear, doing this and that, doing this and that, all the fucking time. And this time, it actually fucking worked. And and this is the hardest. Thing about being in the public and I've made so many mistakes out of love the whole situation with his ex I've done stuff out of character out of love for Jason I literally like I can't even explain I, I... um I just that was it I just wanted to come and see my side of the story I'm literally here alone. I've been here alone. Again, one of the fans or one of the people who wanted to break us up, you, you guys finally did it. Congratulations. My car was outside. I did book the room under my name because it was for me. My mother and I got into a fight over Jason. I left. I couldn't go to Jason's house. My best friend's not here. I got a room for my, my fucking self, for my, my space and my peace. Unfortunately... This had to happen this way, and it hurts me so much. And I and I, I really don't care what the internet has to say, to be honest, because I love Jason so fucking much, so fucking much. No matter what he, I love Jason so fucking much. You just having a, a busting a nut. Yeah, what what, what what that nigga? That you in the quick nut? Huh? We busting quick nuts, nigga. You, you was busting you a quick nut while you said that, huh? Look, let's rewind that, nigga. Hold up. Y'all see her eyes roll to the back of her head? Let's put it in a slow-mo. I have to say, to be honest, because I love Jason so fucking much. So fucking much, no uh, matter what uh, he uh, did uh, to me or no matter what we're going through right now i really feel like we could get through it you know this is this is a really 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 bad bad thing that happened 
but because it's wrong and because you know only god knows the truth and everything will come to the light um i i just hope that we can get through this and you know this really really sucks it sucks that i had to come on here i why you say that like as if you had to you it sucks i had to come on no you you didn't have to do anything Tiki Head didn't have to do anything, nigga. You, you both clearly just love this, you know? You didn't have to. Why does she keep saying that, nigga? <laughs> you make it seem like someone said, bitch, get your ass up on the internet and say your goddamn piece, nigga. No one did that. said it sucks yeah you were sucking them lips if we're referring to it as those lips yeah it definitely sucks nigga you were sucking she'll be sucking and fucking on the road when she comes she'll be sucking and fucking on the streets when she comes she'll be sucking and fucking on the streets she'll be sucking and fucking on the streets she'll be sucking and fucking on the streets when she comes yeah i don't even i can't that's it well, that's it for this video, man. Well, oh, that's a goddamn shame, man. It's a goddamn shame, man. I love you guys very much, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys join that giveaway that I said in the beginning of the video, man. Make sure you guys subscribe, and I will see you guys in the